Uh, hello there people, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my LP of Panzer General. So this is Operation Cobra, part 12, Axis turn 11. Uh, air map, ground map. What we have noticed in the previous turn is that the enemy, mainly Americans, around Nand, left, you know. And now I'm really sorry that I have purchased so many heavies around Nand. Since if the Americans are now retreated, only Panthers and Yacht Panthers will be able to follow them. Tiger 2s will <laughs> lag behind and JP Elephants even more. <sighs> yeah. I, I was too careful regarding Nant and should have, you know, <coughs> only purchased 5 heavies here mainly Yacht Panthers and Panthers, but you know I forgot a lot about Cobra and this was definitely an overkill. <sighs> yeah. And now the burden will fall on our Panthers here, since I strongly believe that the Americans will just advance north and either attacked uh, the soft underbelly of our defensive circle or maybe try to recapture Khan or <coughs> I'm not really sure but most definitely prestige was wasted here there is a chance we can lure them back if we you know leave our defenses immediately go into pursuit immediately but <coughs> sorry but I think I made a mistake here trying you know to be careful and I got too careful uh, give me a second please mm. okay I believe this water did it now mm. and here in the north we have a T-Bolt with 3 stars of experience probably the last remaining high quality fighter <coughs> Mosquito here and Typhoon they are fighter bombers but still effective against fighters and this level bomber here and here <coughs> 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 So yeah, now probably we'll have to purchase if we have enough prestige fighter here to deal with this level bomber and also to scout or a good alternative since they do not cost a lot are these reckons. They cost 84 of prestige but have excellent soft attack and hard attack values low initiative, too bad, but you know good spotting and all terrain movement of 8 so if perhaps we purchase one here it can start retaking non-victory objectives, you know get us a lot of prestige and perhaps also, you know um, give the enemy something else to worry about since you know there were plenty of armored units here and even though they were pretty much helpless ag against our you know ma the, magnific the magnificent seven um, here in the north it's a totally different story but you know always first things first we'll attack this British 
Heavy Weapons Infantry that has taken over the airfield and recapture it. Bam! Wow! A perfect result. Uh, so, let us immediately capitalize on this and send our Three, four. Uh, yeah, or maybe I'm not sure. Uh, I would like to take over this non victory objective and this one also. So, okay, always the obvious first. So now our tank is in a pretty good shape, he has 3 stars of experience. Attack values uh, comparable to this American anti-tank, so we need prestige, we'll take over this airfield immediately. If we attack 3-3, three, three, but with an entrenchment of 7, we will not risk it. Okay. Now for the tanks, I have noticed when um, checking everything that our Panther D only has 4 fuel remaining, which means we'll have to play it safe and perhaps attack with our Nash Horn this anti-tank. I believe Nashhorn has initiative of 12, so it should go our way. But first we need to get rid of uh, this artillery, push it back, and for this we'll use our panther. Uh, yeah, this was also something I was thinking a lot about, uh, whether or not to send panthers immediately south to intercept the Americans, <coughs> but free prestige is not something you know you just you know wave away or what is the phrase. These units cost a lot of prestige, especially artillery, and if we destroy it, good for us. So here we go, we'll attack Bam! The unit has retreated. Now we'll also attack... Or will we? Yeah, because we have an infantry in the area. Now we'll also attack uh, this light American tank with our Panther D. Uh, which still has one fuel, important, because if the unit is out of fuel, I believe it is fighting mm, only with a half of its strength. So, we attack. Uh, the tank has retreated. Now, we actually... Well... I think this artillery... Can be destroyed by our anti-tank gun in a transport. Uh, yeah. I believe it can. So we move here. Please note that uh, it is still overcast. So, oh, shit! Ah, and an artillery on a river hex. Okay, not 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 a problem. Not really. So if it is overcast, even 
this transport should, you know, survive allied attacks. Wonderful. And now, wow, this is this this is a good target. So we'll attack it immediately. We'll take over the non-victory objective and also attack this artillery in a transport. This is extremely good for our prestige. So, come on. Strength of two remaining. What else can we do? I believe we can now use this infantry to destroy uh, this artillery in a transport. Or maybe I'm wrong actually. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, always the obvious first. We take over this airfield. Good. Uh, we are not close enough. So we have to choose our targets. Perhaps... Yeah, perhaps we can first attack uh, this anti-tank and see what happens. Yeah. This is the way to go, I believe. Zero 09. Please destroy it. Please make it 10. And then we have fired first. Excellent. No. The bastard has survived. So, yeah. Do we have anyone in a transport that can actually destroy this guy here? Mm. This is a light transport, so no thank you. Nah, I guess not. So. We'll try to destroy this artillery in a transport and then this Achilles and we are blocking um, the American light tank from escaping. <coughs> Please die. Very nice. And now also this Achilles will die and will make most of our panther. Yeah, but we also spend a lot of fuel if we do it. I'm worried, you know, when the Americans will arrive, will they go here to the north or will they mess, you know, with our pretty weak defenses around the city of Argentan, our former defensive circle, which is now basically without armor and only some air defenses and weak infantry. So, yeah, but we have to worry about fuel as well. So, okay, we'll destroy this, uh, not Achilles, this is the American anti-tank. Learn your units, Mr. Critic. Do your homework, you know. Um, yeah. <coughs> Achilles. Uh, not Achilles. Ah! This unit has to go. And it had fa it <laughs> Wow. You see what happens if, if you attack head-on with a panther? If this anti-tank was not on the river hex, you know, um, 
and with full strength we would be in some serious shit so it is so easy to make you know just a small mistake and then pay for it very dearly so yeah okay so now we'll attack after it I will take a short pause but now we will attack um, uh, this level bomber and place our air defense near so it can with some luck actually do some damage yeah no result thought so so we save it's Cobra 014 time for the first pause be right back okay I'm back uh, this pause was you know for personal comfort not for thinking so a lot will follow unfortunately since now we are getting to the point in the game where we have to you know um, stay focused and not allow you know just think you know everything is over and now we can relax we cannot relax especially not now since the enemy has changed the plans you know and has moved quite a large force away from our destroyers here so by destroyers of course I mean uh, you know ground units that, ca that can destroy not naval units but I'm sure you knew that, so I'm just babbling. Okay, um, so what now? Uh, yeah. So this is the only unit, the only air defense with the transport, I believe, and I have wasted it by placing it here instead of bringing it closer to the T-Bolt, but I'm pretty sure the T-Bolt will find us, you know, uh, when he feels like it. Getting close to four stars of experience, and if this happens, it could still be a problem. Uh, nevertheless, uh, We should act like this t -bolt doesn't exist, with the exception of our fighters, which we'll have to protect. So you get fuel and ammo. Uh, here we will have to prepare ourselves for a possible allied attack. So let us form a sort of a line of defense. You can go here you can attack this level bomber and move here nothing of course it's nothing why even bother you know but I'm just hoping you know that something will go well and never does but I'm still hoping so yeah we have three more air defenses <coughs> all very low on ammo so we'll only try with this one and if it doesn't work then we'll just use our fighter no <laughs> Okay. Um. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Stay here f for a while. Now we'll have to destroy um, this level bomber with our fighter. Too bad. 
Come on. At least we have fired first, so... That's something. Oh. Fly here. So we are in a position to intercept the units that, you know, would like to level bomb either this infantry or this anti-aircraft. And we'll keep our anti-aircraft close, give ammo to our air defenses. For you I'm not sure what to do just yet, but the, this artillery, which is without a transport and can only move one hex at a time, will bring it here to establish some sort of a defensive perimeter if the Americans, you know, choose to move here instead of north. God, I wish I could, you know, <laughs> turn the hidden units off and take a look what they are planning to do. But no, I, I promised myself um, not to do it and I will not. Uh, but I'm tempted, you know, so much. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I'm only human. Even though I'm almost a god of Panzer General. But I'm only human. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll bring uh, this air defense closer now. Not sure what to do with this JP Elephant just yet. Well, since we cannot hope it will, you know, reach uh, the victory objectives in time, I think we can make it a part of our defensive line here, you know, just in case. Something may go wrong and we'll have to rely on our JP Elephant to save the day. But first I only want to, you know, decide what to do with uh, these artilleries. Which could come very handy if, you know, um, we start shelling the victory and some non-victory objectives. So. So you can go here, or maybe, okay, we go south, so if the units are attacked, we have two air defenses to punish any unit that will attack them, and JP Elephant can, can go here. One, two, three, no. Maybe here, one, ah, the same shit, but... At least if we place it here and, you know, move back our air defense, then JP Elephant is in the front line where we want it actually, so probably not such a bad idea. Now for the naval warfare, it could al also prove very handy. <coughs> Um, status, uh, ammo of 3, maximum 4. So, okay. For the time being, we will only give, you know, fuel and ammo to our units in our defensive circle. This fighter will have to go away, since, you know, it cannot possibly destroy this... <coughs> um, Level, level bomber even with some very good luck and then it will be exposed to the T-bolt so we can probably fly hmm. spotting two we can fly here yeah this is it. Time to save again, I think. Cobra 014. Ah, casualties. Um, 
destroying, destroying, you know, rising infantry, artilleries. But we are not done yet. Now we'll move to the south, I think. Ah, only, yeah. The units guarding the victory objectives and our heavies around none. So now we'll make the most out of our heavies that are slow in movement. First we'll attack this French infantry and probably force it to retreat. Exactly. Now we can move our tiger too closer. But since nobody is in this hex, we'll move it here to scout. Now please die. Frenchy. Very nice. Ah, we see a nymph. Excellent. Now we'll attack this inf and send our JP elephant here. It is safe, we see everything, so... Nice. Okay, now what to do? I think, since we know that we can attack this imp with our tiger, I think now we'll use our Yacht Panther to attack here and move here I guess. We still need a sort of a defensive parameter, you know, if the enemy changes its mind and returns towards land. So, attack, move, here. Maybe here? Mm, no, I think here will do. Okay. Kill. No, I'm actually not sure, you know. Uh, I did not forget about the hex, but I would like to travel further just to scout. So let us do it safely. Uh, okay, nothing here. I guess, yeah, we can move here. Very nice. Okay. So now we deal with this inf. Yeah, now we deal with this inf. <coughs> but then it it will retreat in the woods. Do we have another option, you know? Uh no. We do not, but if we attack with our Panther G, perhaps it will not retreat. So, okay, first, 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 very important. First, we'll attack and destroy this Inf. And then scout a little bit. The inf is gone, and now for the scouting. Ah, 
Ah, now we see something. An artillery. Very good. And now we attack. Just hoping I'm not leaving, you know, the approach. Yeah, but if, you know, even if somebody is still hiding here, if it takes over the victory objective, we can still bring one, two, three, four heavies back. So, yeah, I need to stop worrying about such things. We'll attack with our Panther G. Hope this unit will not retreat and then destroy it with our Tiger 2. Okay, excellent. Come on, Tiger 2. Do your job. Kill. Very nice. Uh, so... Yeah, we do not have enough prestige, not even close to purchase a fighter, and even if we did, I would, you know, have opted for Reckons. So, we save. Cobra 014. Now time for a pause, because I have to decide where to place the Reckons that I will purchase before the end of this turn. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my kind of photographic memory <laughs> and really kind of guess I know what to do. Um, we need one Reckon here. Yeah, if I had all the prestige in the world, I would purchase uh, these Reckons. They are beasts, you know, and everything, but they are extremely expensive. So, we'll go for the modest ones. So, you go here. Now we are actually blocking all of the approaches uh, to the victory objective and to this airfield. But I'm still hoping, you know, that by sending the heavies away, I will convince <laughs> the Americans to return, you know, otherwise uh, we have a pretty shitty situation here. Also, one Reckon here, because, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of nine. We are Borg you will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Jerry, I won't resist. Assimilate me right now, you dirty Borg. <laughs> so, as you can see, Carl, we can do some dirty talking also, you know. <laughs> Not too much. This is a serious game. However, I'm not a serious Alpier. And we have a problem. <laughs> okay, what can we do with the remaining prestige? Here we are not in range. If we purchase a reckon here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, blah, doesn't work. But, you know, if we purchase a Reckon here, one here and one here, we can advance both north and south and take over the non-victory objectives. And also block the approach for this freaking bridge engineers. So, I guess this is what I will do. So. Reckon here, Reckon here, which will of course also help us to 
notice the American units approaching. Uh, two more units to move. Nothing to do, you know, with them. Casualties you have seen, so nothing new either. Uh -huh. Okay, weather for tomorrow says fair and dry. So, we'll have to see if this actually will happen. Mm. Mm. Ground map, air map. Oh, please return to us. We are missing you so much, you know. I spent, you know, like... 2000 prestige here around land. Please make it worthwhile, you know. Uh, don't turn north. We are your friends. Remember the movie Mars Attacks? Uh, do not run. We are your friends. And then... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, time to save, give the enemy its turn, and then we finish this video. Weather, casualties, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm a seriously disturbed person. Um, by the way, today I didn't plan, you know, uh, first to do another video. But tomorrow I have this reception in the evening mm, where uh, we will taste some kind of new vodka, Slovenia vodka, actually already selling in the United States. And you know, if, <laughs> if everything goes well, I will not be making movies. Mm, movies, I will not be making. <laughs> videos of Panzer General tomorrow I might I might even get lucky you know because the girls will be so drunk and uh, this would mean two days without Panzer General and I know you would hate me for it so <laughs> this is why I did it even though it is quite quite late today okay enough chit chat we save the game we give the enemy its turn just okay two more units Give me your best shot. Wow. More freaking lightnings. And a T bolt. God damn it. But we did some damage. Excellent. And received none, even better. Oh no, more lightnings. I guess the air war is still far, you know, from being over. Oh my god! And now he went for the Yak Panther and did quite a lot of damage, you bastard. Air defense, some luck, please. No luck. Okay, but at least this mosquito is now doomed. Or maybe... Preferably this Spitfire. Strategic bombing of Nant. Okay, this please let it go our way, you know. Yeah, I can see what will happen. Sort of a draw. No, actually, the luck was on the side of the attacker. Uh, Fair dry weather. Okay, we haven't lost a unit. Always good. 
We can... No, we cannot reach either of these. Ah. Too bad. But we have some air defenses in the area, so... Guess it should work. And now we see the enemy units advancing. Ah, again, so many fighters. Yeah, of low quality, but there are plenty of them, so... Hmm. Perhaps we can attack here, here, and then bring our fighters closer. Finally. The south? Well, the enemy is still retreating, so... My approach didn't work. Uh, yeah, nothing much to say. We will be facing uh, soon some stiff resistance, or perhaps better to say some serious attackers and. Oh well, you know. Ah! An American infantry in a transport? I don't know. Uh, this turn was so so. Uh, so, let us save. Uh, Cobra 014 Probably tomorrow I will not be able to make another video But the day after tomorrow most definitely yeah. So today is Wednesday on Friday At the latest you will see another video or Sunday um, Saturday morning if I make it really late uh, Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic and bye-bye.